It's me, Mario. Mm, Mario hungry. Oh, Mario wants more. Hey, Mario. Oh, what do you want? Those mushrooms you're eating, they're not organic. No! <laughs> To start, we're going to be making a pizza filling similar to what you'd find inside a Hot Pocket or Totino's Pizza Rolls or at the Olive Garden. Grab half of a pepperoni stick and we're going to dice them up into little fine pieces similar to what you see like on Bagel Bites. We're also adding bacon because we're cooking for Dame Drops. And if you don't know who he is, just picture somebody who likes bacon. Mm. In a medium pot, add some olive oil and cook down some garlic. Now we're going to add in our pepperoni and bacon from before, and also a can of tomato paste and a can of tomato sauce. Stir it around for a while and then let it cool down before adding in half a cup of mozzarella and half a cup of pizza cheese blend. Mix this all up and you're done. And if you think about it, you can put a lot of stuff into this and it'll probably taste as good as the stuff you put in. I'm going to get Dean cooking with me in the kitchen. I'm really excited. He's like, I'm not excited. <laughs> So first off, we're gonna break this thing open. I'll let you work that out. Mm -hmm. Now this, this this gets a little bit. Punch it. <laughs> you want to? I punch it. Oh, that totally worked. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of liking what you're doing there. That's kind of making a lot of sense. Oh, look at that. It's a ghetto roller right there. All right, I think that's actually fine. Just take one tablespoon of this bacon pepperoni cheese mixture with the marinara. And you said bacon again? I know, right? It's not as much bacon as you think, but there's a good amount of bacon in there. I don't want to talk about bacon around y'all anymore. See y'all redeem yourselves with bacon. So what we're gonna do now is just take these and squish them to the top. And just pinch it to the top to make like a little... A shroom. The, the, yeah. Julie, it's a shroom. So it's an upside down mushroom that you're making right now. I got big shroom. Big shroom. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That looks like a ball sack. <laughs> JP, don't embarrass me. <laughs> now we're gonna spray just a little bit of this. <laughs> in. Oh All right, let's see it. Now what we wanna do is take that part that you mush together at the top and put it right down, okay? So, you're so this part right here, this, this end is going down? Yeah, going down. All right. Maybe even just put it here diagonal because I don't want these to squish Yeah, don't need, don't need for them to touch. No, no. Is that thing too big? My ball's too big? Your ball's the same size as my ball. Oh, this just it's got fine. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this. When these bake, they're gonna kinda expand a little bit and we're gonna add the next toppings. So, right. do you wanna help me a little bit more? Let's go. All right, we only got a few more to make. <laughs> I'm taking you, I'm doing it your way. Except Julia's, uh, her little tiny pan. <laughs> Give me a little small muffin pan. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. We are done here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the oven for some time. <laughs> that makes for a perfect cooking show. Okay, yeah. What the f cooking <laughs> introduces <laughs> some time and we'll see you after this brief, I'm waiting for my balls break. So these actually baked at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. And while they were baking, Julia sliced up some string cheese to make the circles for our mushroom tops. Now just spread on some marinara for the super mushroom and pesto for the one up, even though it's not that green and whatever. We also use black frosting for the eyes. Same thing we use in our Pac-Man video and then gently place on our mozzarella circles on top. Yahoo! And there you have it folks, pizza biscuits that look like mushrooms that contain no mushrooms. And as a legal disclaimer, consume these will not make you double in size nor give you another life. So be safe, exercise, and eat healthy gym food. One Mario Maker mushroom bite for the health of it. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, look at these. These look so adorable. And they taste delicious. And they taste delish. All right, one more bite for the health of it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like that you can like it's it's got a little handle on it, so you don't have to get your fingers too dirty with all the pesto happening. Oh yeah, these oh, yeah. are awesome. Thanks, Julia. You're welcome. Mm. Nobody can complain about this. Nobody. Mm -mm. Except for probably vegetarians. If you don't eat meat, don't eat this. There's meat in it. Yeah, but you can make a vegetarian version. What would you put oh. in yours? Mushrooms. Yes. Chop up mushrooms, put it in, and then put that mushroom inside of a big portobello mushroom, and then deep fry it in mushroom oil. Mm. Is that a tip? 
so all right guys check out these related videos here and here they are going to be uh other video game related recipe stuff how do you feel with those thumbnails on your face i'm just chilling click on julia's face